Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Training here, bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be going over some things that you may have missed in Lil Pump's new Gucci Gang music video. Before we do that, I gotta give the notification shout out. That's going to this guy right here on the screen. Shout out to you man, thank you so much for being active on the channel. If you yourself watching this video right now with like a channel notification shout out, start on my next video to help you gain subscribers. All you guys have to do is turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below something about the music video and about Lil Pump. Now before we get into this, uh, make sure you guys watch the video all the way through because I will be hiding two free Amazon gift card codes for you guys to win and also leave a like on the video if you are a fan of Lil Pump. Gucci Gang could definitely be one of Lil Pump's greatest hits but also this song gets a fair bit of hate. I actually quite enjoy this song but from reading the comments on YouTube on the music video it's clear that some people didn't like it so much because how much he times he repeated Gucci Gang. If you guys actually are looking for a pretty good laugh I would really highly recommend go reading the comments of Gucci Gang because you'll see some really funny ones. While I was looking for all the missed things I'm pretty sure I read through the comments like 10 times and I watched the music video about 15 times so guys this video is actually going to be pretty good and there's a lot of really funny comments on the music video so if you want to go watch that after this you can. Now let's get to the six things you may have missed in the music video. I'm going to be starting from things that some people probably did notice to some things a lot of people most likely missed. So starting at the number six spot, this is a pretty easy one to notice, but I bet a few didn't. In the duration of the music video, you'll see Lil Pump holding a Slurpee cup that you can get from 7-Eleven. I don't know how many of you guys actually used to go to 7-Eleven as a kid, or maybe you still go now every day to get a Slurpee, but I know I did, and I knew seeing that cup definitely brought back a lot of memories. Although he most likely didn't have a Slurpee in his cup, it was actually still pretty cool to see that he had the cup, because they've been using the same OG Slurpee cups for about 10 years now. If you were one of those people that would always go get a Slurpee every day as a kid, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below, because I was one of those kids. So starting at the number five thing you may have missed, m many people probably did not notice this either, and it's not really that big of a deal, but Lil Pump actually dyed his dreads to be the Gucci colors for this music video. Well, the only thing about that is that he actually did try at least. The colors came out a little different from what he expected, but in an Instagram live story, he was talking about the dreads and how he changed the colors for a secret project that he was working on, and it seems like it was for the music video. I'll have a couple pictures up on the screen of what his dreads usually look like compared to how his new Gucci dreads look the colors didn't come out as planned but just know that the colors on his dreads were supposed to be like the match Gucci colors but they came out a little lighter now the only like really good fans of Lil Pump would actually know that because he was talking about it on other social medias if you're just like a sort of fan of Lil Pump and just have his music on his phone then yeah but if you're like a pretty big fan of Lil Pump you would know that starting at the number four spot guys in the music video you'll notice how it's being shot at Gucci gang high I'll have a picture up on the screen in case you missed it because a couple people probably did, but this relates to something that really helped Lil Pump get to where he is today. If you know anything about Lil Pump, you would definitely know the very popular meme about him. Lil Pump turned down a full ride scholarship to Harvard to save the rap game. Now obviously it's a meme, he didn't actually get a full ride scholarship to Harvard, but still that actually really helped him boost his career. And they also couldn't use or say the name Harvard in the music video because there would be copyright issues and things as such, but the music video was supposed to be in a school that have like the Harvard feel Lil Pump said. Lil Pump also helped direct the music video as well so there's another point just proving that this fact is real that this was supposed to be kind of like in a Harvard setting kind of like school because he always likes to talk about how he dropped out of Harvard and stuff like that. So starting at the number three spot a lot I bet like a couple people probably didn't notice but some people did in the comments that I saw but he was wearing three outfits made a full Gucci you know it kind of suits the music video because it is Gucci gang. But yeah anyways he was wearing three outfits made out of Gucci and now some people are saying that Gucci actually been supplying him with the clothes because how viral the song has been and he could have got all of these outfits for free. Nobody really knows but all the outfits he was wearing it totals up to over a cost of $30,000. So I can imagine that some of these clothes were supplied by Gucci and given to him for free but also Lil Pump could have bought all of these clothes too. No one really knows but his net worth is well over $300,000 now so he could have bought the clothes himself. Alright so for the second thing you may have missed I know a lot of people definitely did miss this especially if you're like a younger person at 20 seconds into the music video there's a very popular female adult actor named jinx maze i'll have a picture up on the screen of her right now i honestly couldn't tell you what she's doing in the music video but actually my friend noticed it and i didn't she could be lil pump's favorite adult actress or maybe she just needs more girls for the video and the director put her on payroll but honestly i have no idea why she's in it but she is in it. I don't know how many of you guys actually know who Jinx Maze is, but if you do, you probably know what I mean by adult actress. So for the first spot, guys, if you're watching to this point right now, I want you to comment down below saying Lil Pump, Gucci Gang, 
because I'm curious to see how many people are actually watching to this point. Now only real fans of Lil Pump would actually probably notice this, but Lil Pump has actually been leaking this for so long and none of us noticed. Lil Pump's been leaking the music video for a couple weeks now. He posted a ton of things on his Instagram showing him with the tiger in the music video. And if you aren't a fan of Lil Pump, you definitely would have missed this whole thing. Pump has been showing us parts of the music video and glimpse of them on set on all of his social medias for weeks now and nobody's noticed. Everybody thought he was, he was actually dropping a new song, but this was actually the music video for Gucci Gang. Only true Lil Pump fans would have seen this, and if you did, make sure you guys let me know down in the comments below because I'm curious to see who noticed all these. So that's it for the video, guys. Thank you guys so much for 55,000 subscribers. Honestly, guys, I'm so grateful for that. We're growing like crazy. If you guys could please leave a like on the video and share it on Twitter or any social medias you have, that would be greatly appreciated. Anyways, guys, it's been District Trending. I'm out. Peace.